Hello everybody, this is Training Gamer back to kick off round 3 for Group B. In this session, we're going to see Khalid going up against Black Beauty, while Akoridus taking on Ultimate Dino King in a rematch from the last tournament, and then Drogon Targaryen III going up against Team Asia. So yeah, going to be a really interesting round this could be. We'll definitely, we'll definitely shape up how this group could finish. Without further ado, let's get on with our first match. Ooh, the volcano field. Okay, in the right corner for Khalid, we got Taurosaurus. The well, not Super Taurosaurus, just Stone Cold Taurosaurus. But it is quite the beast. That lightning strike can definitely do a serious amount of damage. Although, might be a slight problem on this field. Because backing up the Taurosaurus, we got Tajonosaurus. The king of the crets. And yeah, it's unfortunately going to have terrain disadvantage here, which kind of sucks for it. Does that give Black Beauty the upper hand in this match? Probably. Okay, for Black Beauty, in the blue corner, we got Patty Cephalosaurus. Black Beauty has been one of the most impressive debutants thus far in this tournament, getting notable wins over Ultima Dino King and Drogon Targaryen the Third. They'll be looking to make it three out of three. And in fact, if they do get a if they get a bonus point win, I would probably say, should the other two results go their way, that's all but Black Beauty through. I mean, I wouldn't say it's not a hundred percent guaranteed, but yeah, when you have nine points after three games, wait, you're pretty much gonna go through. You're gonna have like a ninety-five percent chance of going through. Right there. Let's we'll see what this match cooks up for us. Okay, the Taurosaurus landing the first hit. It's a Thunder Bazooka. Okay, double check the swap in time. Oh, it might be time to swap for the Pachycephalosaurus, and it's not. Ooh, getting off that power drain there. On young Guerra dive as well. Oh, we got a Tappy Jara dive to come as well. Big power drain coming from Black Beauty. Gonna suck some life out of the Taurosaurus. <laughs> like a wide mouth of things. Like, would it really open his mouth that wide? No. And what is it, a carnival? And we got a shockwave as well from Brontokins. Well, it was a good hit from Khalid, but Black Beauty coming back into it, but look at that! The Archaeopteryx charm healing up the Taurosaurus. It was as if that power drain never happened. Ooh, that was a good power, that was a good heal there. The shockwave support effect backfiring for Black Beauty. And now, it's Khalid in the lead. Okay, it'll be time to swap out the Pachycephalosaurus. Oh, but he doesn't get the swap. And Black Beauty is in a bit of trouble. Well, it's all on Brontekins. Well, let's be honest, they were in trouble in the round two, and, well, we all know how that ended. <laughs> Might have to get some spectral armor going again. Although, what I will say is that this Brontekins doesn't have super moves, so Taurosaurus would not, will not have the type advantage yet. Ooh, that's a hit from Brontekins. And I will say that the Brontekins will get a hit on the Taurus on the Tajongosaurus because of the train disadvantage. Well, Black Beauty would love that hit to be a spectral destroyer, but uh, it probably won't be. Unless we get like loads of ties. Dino Stuffer is going to stop that lightning strike. How crucial could that be? That could be crucial. If that lightning strike got hit, it would probably be game over. But, with the terrain disadvantage the Tajongosaurus has, it will get hit here. Ooh. <coughs> oh, <sorry. coughs> Excuse me. The Tajongosaurus does get hit there with the terrain disadvantage. But that Dino Stuffer could be critical. And look at that already. His bar's already full. One more hit or a tie will fill up that bar. Oh, 
over, it's a crit, and this time there's no dial stuffer to stop it. At least it's not Rock Roller. At least it's not Rock Roller. Ooh, and a recovery to come. Has that changed everything? Okay, maybe not. Well, it's time for Spectral Armor. Jack Armor! Now things get interesting. Well, I don't think Khalid would want to swap here. But you got to. Because it's the rules. Oh, the time! Could that has changed everything? Because that... Oh, hang on. No, it's revival type. Oof. <laughs> Oh, Khalid living dangerously here. Oh, but it's gonna die anyway. Oh, Khalid's in trouble now. The Tajonosaurus has to come in. The t the Taurosaurus has to come in. Okay, it's another tie. Oh, the, well, the losing bonus points secured there. Oh, it's a lightning strike. His lead keeps his composure and beats Brontekins to win the match. Oh, 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 a sigh of relief from Khalid there. Hanging on to get the win over Black Beauty, and what a crucial win that could be. And that will put an end to Black Beauty's 100% record in this tournament. But what a match that was! That was an epic encounter. Right, on to our next matchup. Okay then, in the red corner, for Moloch Horridus, we got the Baryonics. Well, this is a massive game for Moloch Horridus. If, if they lose this match, given that Khalid won earlier, I would say that puts Moloch on the brink of elimination. Backing up the Barry, we got the Lexa Resource. The say at least at least we ain't got terrain advantage to worry about, and both of our guys want to swap when HP below half, so. I'm going to need my notes for once. Yeah, this is, this is a massive match. Particularly for Moloch. In the blue corner, for Ultima Dino King, we have got the Super Tarkia Awaken Mode on 3. Ultima again back to winning ways last time out against Team Asia. Granted, it was unconvinced. Granted, they won. It was unconvincing. I think that's the word to describe Ultimate thus far. Unconvincing. Backing up the uh, park here, we've got Saltosaurus. A win here for Ultimate would I would put them, well, yeah, level on points at the top of this group. A bonus point win, and they would, in fact, go top. Moloch Horridus will take any kind of win at this moment in time. If Ultimate does win this match, things, look bleak, things will look bleak for Moloch. Oh, wow, well, that's a good start, isn't it? If you're Ultimate Dino King, not if you're Marlock Horridus. Crep from the top. The tech boost is going to ha happen as well. No Earth value. Ooh. Well, Marlock getting a crit of his own. It's an aqua weapon. Both of our combatants getting off crits early on. Okay, that's twice. Oh, another crit from the Tarkia. And there'll be a wait, wait time next round. Oh, here comes an Earth Barrier. See plenty of these. And it is awakening time. <coughs> well, can Baryonyx land the crit hit in the swap? Oh, it's a tie! Which means we're... Probably going to see Sandtrap, which will be all she wrote for Baryonyx. At least the saving... Well, there's two saving graces. One, the Tarkia's HP will be half. And two, the Lexoversaurus will get hit. So there is that. But it is a big blow for Moloch there, losing the Baryonyx. Ooh, 
Ooh, okay. Black Silver Sword gets the hit off here, stopping the Tarkia from swapping, but the Earth Barrier will protect it from major damage as the Saltosaurus gets hit. Ooh, that's another tie. Will we see another Sand Trap? The answer to that is yes! Not good for Moloch Oridus, but very good for Ultimate. And that will extend his lead as well. Oh, we got us. Oh, oh, wow. Not, not good at all for Moloch there. That Shockwave will pretty much assure that Ultimate will get land more damage on the Lexovasaurus. Okay, so if you're going for a crit. I'm sorry, you can't go rock. Oh, he's going to have to go keep the love then. Yeah, this is not looking good for Moloch. Okay, this is consecutive Shockwave removal, so the move removal rule will not apply here. So there is the saving grace for Moloch. So his move will be generated like normal. Okay, so oh, he is going for a crep. Okay, that's a tie. <laughs> and with the Sand Trap, yeah, look at that. Can ultimate secure the bonus point win. The answer to that is no. Ooh, a tiebreaker as well. That will definitely help Molochoridus. Well, they couldn't, could they? They couldn't. We've seen stranger things in this tournament. There's a tie, but... Ooh, Mol the Tappy Jaras will come in. Another tie. And nope, there it is. <laughs> Ultimate Dino King getting the job done in the end. Missed out on the bonus point win, but we'll take the win nonetheless. And that is a big, big defeat for Monarchoridus. And I probably say, if this, if the, if the result of the next matchup doesn't go the way they want, I'd probably say that could be that for Monarchoridus in this tournament. It's not guaranteed, but yeah, they're going to have an Everest to climb. But we can have a look at the table at the end of the at the end of the final matchup, which we will get on with now. Well, a big clash at the top to finish this video off. Ooh, we're on the Sunset Beach. Right, in the red corner, for Drogon Targaryen, the third. We got Spider Sword, so I'm gonna cough again. <coughs> oh, terrible. Water, water. <laughs> But speaking of water, this is a very good field for... Actually, yeah, this is the perfect field for Drogon. Backing up the Spino, we've got Eocarcaria. Super Eocarcaria. Await the mode on two. Yeah, the coffin is a sign of Tanamite to stop recording for today, and I am going to stop. I probably will stop after this. <laughs> but yeah, back to the match. Very good field for Drogon. Because, in the blue corner, the teenager, we got Sorolophus which has terrain disadvantage, which means that Spino is going to get a crit. I mean, actually, if this wasn't a grass dinosaur, the Spino would get a crit anyway, because this guy's crit is sinless. But yeah, I pretty much fancy, well, especially seeing this field, and oh my god, he's got a type advantage over this, yeah. Okay, yeah, I think Drogon's going to win this match. I'm pretty convinced. <laughs> Watch Team Ager get a bonus point win now. <laughs> I'm sorry, Drogon, I just gave you the kiss of death. But no, no, I think Drogon will win this match. And I think it'll be pretty comfortable as well. Okay, they both want to swap the HPs in the red. First things first, let's get the terrain advantage over here. So yes, it is a crit from the Spino. And Drogon can't, can't ask for a better start than that. So Rolophus responding with a hit though. It's a net crusher. Boosh! Oh, oh wow, I did a decent amount of damage. That's a tie. Ties don't really favour anybody. Well, although this Sorolophus is revival type. Yeah, it's both when both are in the red. Ooh, the Spido gets the next hit. More tech boost, tech boost coming in. 
Ooh, it'll be time to swap for Sauronathos. Oh, will it? Will this Aqua Javelin finish the job? Oh, it doesn't! The sniveret, lowest amount of health. Oh, it's a tie, but remember, this Sauronophus is revival type, so it will get the comeback. Can Team Asia take advantage of that? Uh, no. <laughs> and that is probably going to win it for Drogon, because this Monolophosaurus is going to have type disadvantage against the Eocarcaria, if it even gets that far. I am. <laughs> I've been yapping, so I forgot. Okay, so free. Ooh, Mono is getting a crypt. <laughs> yeah, I, did, I didn't want to mess it up. But okay, there's a Dino Stuffer. Dino Stuffer putting a stop to that crypt. Yeah, I paused it because it's going to run out of time. <laughs> yapping too much. Commentator's weakness. Ooh, hello. We got an injury attack coming. Monolophosaurus not going down without a fight. <laughs> okay, it'd be time to swap for the Spino. Ooh, the tie. But this Spino is tight type, so he'll tank those all day long. And he'll get the hit there. Which will probably assure Drogon will get the bonus point. Oh, and an Aqua Javelin as well. Yeah, half health Monolophosaurus against a full strength Super Eocock area. He's got the Awaken mode. Yeah, it's, it's not even a contest. Drogon gets a hit, it's pretty much game over. But can he get that hit? Oh, crap! Oh, no, another Dino Suffer. <laughs> I forget, these both, they, they, both his dinosaurs have Dino Suffer. But what well, Eocarcaria does have is Awaken Mode. Let's be honest, it's a tie will probably win it for him. Oh, speak of ties. Oh, it doesn't win it for him. Ooh. Well, I'll tell you what, Team Asia's going down with a fight. I'll give him credit. And it does half the Eocarc's health, but again. And yeah, there it is. Bonus point win secured, no real surprise there. And even if the Eocarcaria died, the Spino would have come in with terrain advantage and killed Monolophosaurus anyway. So yeah, Drogon pretty much won the match like five rounds ago. <laughs> but yeah, they get the bonus point win to top group B. Right, let's have a look at our table then, shall we? Well, that makes group B interesting. We got Drogon up top with nine points, mainly because of those three bonus points they've got. And then we have Black Butte, the Ultimate Dino King, and Khalid, all level on points with six. Nothing to separate these guys. And then we have Team Asia in fifth on two points, and Moloch Horridus on the solitary point. So yeah, five points adrift of, of fourth. Not good. Not good. That means that Moloch is going to have to win. Anything other than a win will eliminate Moloch Horridus from the tournament. And I think likewise for, well, not, oh, actually, no, not Team Asia. They're on five points. Really not looking good for Moloch Horridus. Who they got to play next? Oh, yeah, they got to play Drogon next. <laughs> yeah, it's going to be a really tough contest. Drogon's looked really strong in this tournament. Yeah, that's going to be tough. And then we'll have Team Asia against Black Beauty. Ooh, interesting game that could be. And then... Probably more, one of the more standout matches. Oh, I'm a Dino King going up against Khalid. So yeah, that's it for that's it for round three of Group B. So I hope you enjoyed, and I'll see you next time. Mm -hmm.